Hey guys, welcome back to the TSM and Auctionator UI elements part of my TSM for Newbies Classic Guide. Here I will be going over the functions of the TSM UI, explaining what each tab does so you can be a little bit more knowledgeable uh, when you first open it up versus being terrified. Um, I will be teaching you uh, the Auctionator's UI and its purpose for installing it with Trade Skill Master. So, First, let's get into TSM and I'll move over to Auctionator afterwards. Okay, so now that we have both TSM and Auctionator installed, let's open the TSM interface and explain a few things. To do this, just come up to your mini map in the right hand uh, top side of your screen and click on the little white cog wheel for TSM. Now, when you click on this, uh, the dashboard will open right away. Okay. So the dashboard is pretty scary for someone new to TSM. There's a lot going on, but let's go over uh, what it's showing you here so you can understand it better. Here on the dashboard, you'll probably see something more simple since you don't have as much uh, stored data as I do. Uh, this add-on gets called a stockbroker add-on because it has a so many things you can do with it, but it also holds a ton of data for you to monitor. This graph here is just the amount of gold you've earned and spent over time that you've been playing. It's very nice to be able at a glance to see how your gold farming is going, okay? Now underneath the graph, you'll see sections for total gold earned, expenses and profits. Uh, another way to see uh, at a glance what you've earned, uh, what's earned you the most gold, what you've spent the most gold on, and of course your earnings, totals, profits after your expenses, of course super helpful but that's all you really need to know about the dashboard it's very quick very clean straight to the point so let's move on to the ledger tab okay so to access the ledger tab just come up here to the top and click the ledger so this ledger tab is exactly what it looks like it's a way to track all of your sales expenses and posted items in a small searchable section the biggest one i normally use is the revenue tab so we can just click on it here at the top left and it will then drop down a few more subsections uh, for sales, other, and resales. But the one you really want to focus on mostly is the sales tab, okay? Now if we just click on that, uh, now at the top, here you will see a bar with filter by keyword. Uh, this is where you'll be able to search your ledger history for items you've sold over the time you've been playing. Now, as you can see, there's six filters here, filter tabs, um, but you can change all of them. But the one you really want to change is this last one. It, it says uh, the all or all time. You can change it to 60, 30, 14 days, seven, you know, three, but the all time is probably gonna be your just best one to pick, okay? Now we can come back over here to the filter by keywords and just click there and you'll see a little cursor. So. Now I'll be searching for something that I've been selling. Um, it's the tiny emerald. So as you can see, it auto filters basically as you type. So these are the tiny emerald whelplings that I've been selling on the auction house. Uh, now you can see here, it shows my sales of all time for all of my tiny emerald whelplings. And I've sold quite a few of them. And recently I sold one actually four days ago for uh, 15,200 gold. But if you look down here at the bottom real quick, you'll also see how many of you have sold and the total profits you've earned. So I've made 89,000 gold uh, just off of the tiny emerald whelpling. So this is very helpful tool when you're wanting to search uh, things that you've sold in the past and just see what they kind of sold, like how the prices are fluctuating. So that's all for the ledger tab. Let's move over to the group tabs real quick next. So at the top, let's click groups, like I did with the ledger. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is completely blank. Uh, there's no groups or subsections that you've likely seen in other TSM guides and videos. Well, that's because TSM doesn't come loaded with a default profile uh, containing groups or subsections or all color coded or anything like that. And this is why I believe a lot of people are turned away from TSM once they've installed it. Every video you've seen uh, probably looks something uh, like this. And I'll show you my profile here real quick. Uh, this is the one that I'm using currently. 
in Cataclassic. Uh, this was created by hand, not by the add-on or the game. Every pro pro uh, profile you've seen was a custom made and organized uh, by a person. Uh, it might feel overwhelming, but don't worry, I'll be able to teach you how to create something just like this in a short while with this uh, guide. So for now, let's move uh, on to the next tab, which is going to be the operations tab. Okay, before we jump over to the operations tab, I'm going to go back to my default profile here real quick. Because when we go to the operations tab, just click on it up here at the top like you would normally. Uh, you're going to end up looking something like this, okay? But the operations tab is the brains of TSM. This is where we will be creating operations to make uh, sure TSM knows how to price our items we're posting to the auction house and set settings like for how long, how many we're posting. Uh, this also allows us to create mailing operations as well to be able to send large amounts of items quickly to our bank alt uh, or uh, with just one button or allowing us to create special mailing operations to send specific items like materials such as ore or cloth uh, to our profession alts uh, so that they can use them versus posting them to the auction house uh, by accident. Very powerful stuff here, uh, but I will get that uh, get into that in the operations section of this uh, guide in the series. So for now, that's all we need to know about the operations tab. So let's move over to the settings tab. Okay, and like the others, we'll just click, click on settings. Uh, this is going uh, to be where a lot of the nitty gritty TSM options can be changed, such as creating profiles, turning on and off tooltip information, changing the appearance, adding a ka-ching noise when you sell something, and many other options as you can see to the side here. We have a whole list of things we're gonna go through and talk about. Um, but I'll touch base on that in the TSM uh, settings part of the series. Uh, so keep your eye out, uh, eyes out for that video. Now let's move over to the Auctionator add-on really fast and the reason why it's needed to make TSM work in, in Classic. Okay, when we installed TSM, we also uh, got this extra little thing uh, installed called the TSM App Helper, as you can see here. Okay. Well... Its purpose was to scan the Blizzard API, gather auction house data, then give you that data for pricing data for items on the auction house. Okay? Now, this does not work in Classic, so we needed to find another way to get that auction house data for our pricings. This is why we installed Auctionator. It has a feature in its UI to do a full scan of the auction house, scanning all the items and collecting all pricing data for us to use within TSM. So if you just click on the auction house real quick and come down here to the bottom, you'll see the auctionator tab. You'll see up here, it says full scan. This allows us to use this data when creating our auction operations or our posting operations in TSM. And I will show you that done later in the series in the operations part. Okay, so now that we're a little less scared and more familiar with the interface of TSM, and you have more knowledge as to why we need to use Auctionator and TSM together, uh, that will be all for this part of the series. Uh, in the next part, I'll be teaching you about the Trade Skill Master settings, how to change them, and creating a profile. So thanks for watching, and until next time.